up Roxy Henry. Tonight, the beautiful Priscilla Presley, accompanied with a very talented son, Navarone. Navarone and his group, Them Guns, performed in Hollywood. And he chatted about his music. This guy is terrific. And check out the footage. Oh, hello, Priscilla. You look Hi. beautiful. Yes. Thank you very much. What brings you here this evening? Um, my son performed here tonight, so we were kind of celebrating a performance. <laughs> That's wonderful. And uh, Navarone, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Pris uh, Priscilla, you must be very proud of him. I am very proud. Yes, the students are really well. They are the South by Southwest, so this is uh, one of the shows before we go. So. That's great. Um, so it's a little noisy. Can we move over here? Thank you. So Navarone, tell me about your music. I've been doing it forever, since I was a little kid. Um, it's evolved into, I guess, playing with my friends. We play synth rock music, um, keyboard-driven rock music. We always thought it was really important to just not all become four separate DJs and go our separate ways. We wanted to keep instruments alive and real talent of playing them, you know, as something that happens in current society. Yes. And what inspires you? Everything. Um, <laughs> musically, um, music from the 60s until now. Mostly, um, I mean, I think Nine Inch Nails or Chemical Brothers. Um, kind of music that was on the forefront of electronic music a long time ago. Oh yes, <laughs> and if you could collaborate with anybody, who would, who would you choose? Oh man, I mean Trent Reznor would be you know, amazing, uh, you know, any of those Daft Punk, you know, totally, not totally different, but on a different aspect, Daft Punk would be fun to do a song with. Uh, yes, and um, what are your inspirations? Um, you know, we try to write anything besides the typical love song. You know, we feel like that topic has been written so many times, and it's not that it's not part of the topic of our songs, but we try to uh, sing about other things that you know, need a chance to be sung about. <laughs> and other emotions as well. That's wonderful. And tell me about your upcoming gig. Uh, well, we're heading to South by Southwest next week. We have, uh, we have a few shows on the way out there. Um, we have a show in Phoenix and in Albuquerque, and then of course South by Southwest, which is you know, our first big music festival, which is, um, I mean, we're really excited about it. It's kind of the biggest independent, not independent, but you know, small bands have a chance to play big stages, and I think we're excited to have that opportunity um, you know, to play for the crowd that we've been wanting to play for. Yes. And how old were you when you first started writing and performing? My mom bought my first guitar for me when I was maybe eight. And I put it down for a few years and picked it up again at maybe 12 or 13. And as soon as I picked it up again, at that age, you know, as soon as I picked it up, I just started writing songs immediately. Yes. And um, how long does it take for you to write a song? That's... Uh, Totally depends on the song and the mood. Usually, it could take, you know, between writing songs, it could be a few months, and then all of a sudden one will just come out in 10 minutes. You sit down, write the whole thing, and just pours out. Or sometimes you get the first verse out, and then it takes another three weeks to get the rest of the song written. So uh -huh. it's kind of where, when the inspiration strikes, you just gotta grab it while you have the chance. Yes, and what are your goals? To play to as many people as possible and get our music heard, you know, as far around the world as we can and travel the world with it. Yes, and I'm sure the ladies like you. Are you ready for all the fans? Of course. I don't Comes know. Comes for the territory. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> yes. And Priscilla, what advice do you have for him? Well, I'm glad. well the thing that he's doing, I'm very proud of him. I love his writing and I love coming to the shows and watching him grow. And since he was a little kid, you know, he always loved music. He started playing piano. And um, now, you know, he's invited, the band was invited to South by Southwest. So we're all excited about going, working with 
Dirty, what is it, the Dirty Dog? Dirty Dog Bar. <laughs> Dirt, uh, March, <laughs> March 15th at the Dirty Dog Bar oh. at South by Southwest. So we're really excited about that. That's going to be tremendous fun, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yes. And Austin's a great town, you know, uh, regardless of the festival. Yes. And St. Patrick's Day will be happening at the same time as well. So <laughs> There you go. We'll all be uh, you know, partying after the show, of course. <laughs> oh, yes. A big party, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. And Priscilla, one question. Who was the biggest showman? Elvis or Donald Trump? Wow, you know that's a that's a hard one. <laughs> really, I have to toss the coin on that. <laughs> yes, I think there's nobody better than Elvis. There isn't really. I mean, there's a lot of great talent, but he was a great. He was a good talent. He was actually, you know, I think one of our greatest performers. Another one, pretty much a as well. Absolutely, yes. And um, so, uh, what are you most looking forward to about Austin besides the music and the party? Have you been there before? Yeah, my cousin uh, lives out there actually, and uh, him and I are a little closer than best friends, I'd say. So, <laughs> so we're going to be having a good time out there together. That sounds wonderful. Yes. And anything else you'd like to say to your fans? How about a message to your fans? Well, hopefully you've heard of us, and if you've heard of us by, by this time, thank you so much for your support. And we're, uh, you know, hoping to get a, as much out there for you to hear and support as possible. And, uh, you know, message us. We're always happy to reply and talk to you and answer anything you have to ask. That's wonderful, yes. Thank you both so much, and good luck. Thank, thank you, you so much. Bye-bye.